What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guys channel. My name's Lloyd. So we're gonna talk about today's, we're gonna talk about why good looking guys struggle with their dating life. Now, not every good looking guy struggles with their dating life, but a shockingly large amount of guys who I would consider to be better looking than me come to me for dating advice, come to me for help, come to me for coaching. And the reason why is because looks aren't everything. It does not mean that you're going to have a phenomenal dating life. You're not gonna be able to get the girls that you want all the time. Um, a lot of people assume just if someone is like very attractive externally that they have it all figured out. They must assume that they have a lot of uh, the qualities that they're looking for. Well, that's not true. And if it was true, none of them would come to me for advice. I would say the main thing that a good looking guy is going to suffer from is they suffer from the other things that women look for. Women are a lot more into looks than they are willing to admit, but they're not the most important thing. That's why a guy who's not good looking or a guy who's ugly can get extremely attractive women because women value other things more. Now at the beginning, they might see a guy who looks like the guy that they're looking for, but as soon as he opens his mouth or as soon as they date him for a couple months, then things start to fall apart and they realize, hey, this is not a guy that I'm looking for, not a guy that I'm attracted to. Okay? Because being a man encompasses a lot more than a chiseled jawline and you know ripped abs or you know being tall and dark. Uh, it's a lot more to it than that. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. One thing that good looking guys tend to suffer from a lot, and I've noticed this, is they're not as confident as they claim to be. Even if they have great posture, they look around, they got a good smile or whatever. Um, a lot of times the girl will see this and they'll walk over to them if it's at like a bar or something like that or whatever. And they start talking to them and then they realize that between that guy his awkward silences or his shifty looks, this guy is not as confident as he claims to be. All right, now they might realize this pretty soon on and you know, that prevents the guy from being able to hook up with the girls that he wants to hook up with, let alone get a date. Or they notice it two months down the line where certain things start to bother him. He starts feeling like really insecure. In fact, I would say you guys like, my really good looking clients tend to have a, almost more insecurities than um, than guys uh, that, you know, just feel like they're, they're not good looking at all because they don't, they don't rate themselves by that. They don't hold themselves to like some absurd standard um, that some of my other clients will. And the fact of the matter is, if you are in this category, you are a guy who you feel like is, uh, is, is good looking or whatever, then you're gonna be looking for women that are at your mate value or above. And if you don't have the other qualities that they're looking for, you're just not gonna get that woman. And a lot of times the women will go for a guy who's not as good looking as you <laughs> to find someone with those qualities, okay? So what qualities am I talking about? I'm talking the qualities of being a man. You know, a man in the dating game, when it comes to the man to woman connection, a lot of times he's got a lead, you know? When it comes to courtship dancing, there's not a courtship dance on the planet where the man's not leading the dance. Kind of the same thing goes with dating, you know? Women can be strong and independent, but when it comes to the dating game, they are looking to follow a guy. And if you're not that guy, if you're not confident, you're insecure and you're looking to her all the time, um, don't expect her to stick around for very long. Another thing that we'll, these guys will suffer from is that they tend to get pretty paranoid that women only like them for their looks. And this causes them to feel insecure, which causes the woman to not be as attracted to them. And it's a self-fulfilling prophecy again and again. What you need to do is you need to stop focusing on your looks and value yourself for other things in your life. Because as you get older, as your hair wrinkles, as maybe your muscles atrophy, you're not always gonna be able to focus on those things for confidence. I highly, highly recommend that you have something going on in your life that you really rate yourself by. Maybe it's a sport or a hobby or you take great pride in your work. Those kinds of things are gonna be able to keep a girl around because you're not so focused on her and you're not looking to other people for your sense of entitlement. You know, I got this one client who was like a male model and if he didn't get looks from women, um, then he just didn't feel confident. And you know, there's gonna be times where he doesn't get that. Maybe he's having a bad hair day or something like that. <laughs> and honestly, I I think if you're if you're a guy, you really shouldn't be looking for that things. Uh, you should be looking to other things um, for a sense of importance and honor. One thing really good looking guys tend to suffer from, and I've seen this consistently again and again, is that their life isn't that interesting. They tend to be quite boring. So it's almost a curse when you're, you grow up to be a guy who's been just you know attractive his whole life, is because women have given you affection all the time. They've come up to you and talked to you. You haven't had to earn um, their interest. You know, as someone like me who was like this really skinny guy in high school, you know, I got some looks from women, but you know, never really got anyone to come up and talk to me. And 
And as I grew up in life, I had to learn to basically speak and be vocal, um, to get people to want to be interested in me, to have an interesting life, to develop that. One thing you will never hear anybody saying about me is that I'm a boring person. <laughs> I can assure you that. But a lot of the clients that come to me, some of them willingly admit to me, they're like, yeah, I'm kind of a boring person. I don't really have that much to me. And the truth is, is that even if you're watching this video and you feel like you fall into that category, you're not a boring person. There are things that are cool about you. We just need to let you express those things to other people, which you've probably never had to or thought about doing in the past. So uh, that's one thing that can help you improve your game, uh, but also just make you a better and easier person to interact with and something women are going to be more attracted to. You know, this is something that I noticed that a lot of times guys will, they'll discover after a number of dates that the girl's just not that interested in them and it's because they notice this. So hopefully you've seen that this is kind of not just a, a way to attract women, but a way for you to just make your life better overall, because really that's what women want. Women want the whole package. And looks, although at the beginning we tend to focus on them the most, especially other men, when they consider, oh, I wish I was better looking to get women, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is having a cool, interesting life, having a life that she wants to be a part of, even if it's just for a short time or if it's for a longer time. That's what women look for. So that's what I help with my clients. And that's why I find a lot of good looking guys struggle with their dating life. So if that's you, hopefully you got something out of this video. If you learned something, please subscribe. I come up with videos like this every single week. And 